come vape with me. I'm vaping my own mixture, cream and waffle, on a small 650 battery. And I do that because I find if I use a, a higher Ma battery that it ruins the flavour. I find that if I use this little battery that came originally from Cloud9 Vaping, the Elegance battery, and if I put the jack tank on that, because it's a 900 fitting, that gives me the sweetest point of all with my flavour that I mix. Now that's absolutely delicious. If I put that on a large battery, a 1100 ma battery, and I have excellent ones from um, Genesis, then I find that flavour of my e-liquid that I mix is vitiated, it's changed, it's altered, it's ruined. I don't get the lovely deliciousness that I do if I use a smaller battery. But that is a jack tank that is on a large 1100 ma uh, Genesis battery, decorated of course, and that is absolutely wonderful. So it depends on the e-liquid, what you vape it on. And that's why I think mods are so popular, where you can alter the uh, heat at which the e-liquid vaporizes, because you can get the sweet point by altering and you're using one device instead of the way I do it which is to have your coffee on a large battery and your cream on a small battery but in fact I don't mind because I'm always walking around with two devices so that's easy for me I have the one with the coffee on and the other with the cream but in fact of course you could have, um, you still got to change your tank if you're using a mod. So you've still got to change something if you want to swap your flavors. Unless, of course, you've got, like I have, a switch bag and you have two different flavors permanently attached. And you're not changing anything, you're just switching from one side to the other. But the way I do it now, through experience and my taste buds, although I do not know the science, the mathematics or the wattage and all these small details, my palate tells me that this tastes better on a smaller battery. Now I'm not going to be a mod person, I can feel it in my bones. I am just plain and simple a battery with something stuck on the end so that I can vape on it. I have moved from cartomizers to tanks. I find tanks I do not even have to use the turkey baster method on because I simply drop them in a jug of warm water, let them soak until they smell clean and then dab them off with a roller towel or you can swing them around so that the water is expelled from them and then reuse them so I find that tanks seem to last longer if you look after them, especially the jack tanks. And the reason I say this is because I've tried CE4s recently and I found, well one actually broke, the plastic just came away from the metal ring and it leaked all over the place which was very annoying and another one just collapsed. I only used them for a few days so to me that is not cost effective. Whereas the jack tank, the first ones I had lasted me from May till just recently and I've just now ordered new ones. Furthermore, I can use them on other batteries with 510 connections because I've got an adapter. So they work well on any of the batteries that I have. 
So I have been vaping a year and in all that time I've thrown out one battery. I threw it in the rubbish bin. But I know that you shouldn't do that, that I could send it in to some place that recycles batteries. That's the correct way to do it. And I will in the future. Only that battery was behaving in such a weird fashion. I just wanted to get rid of it and get it away from me. I wanted to show you my dog. Here is my dog. So what I've been saying is that the flavour you get from your e-liquid depends on the heat that it's vaporised at. A mod can control that. But us lower mortals who only use ego type batteries or less can also control that by experience and knowing which e-liquid tastes right, gets that sweet point on which of the batteries that we have. Some of us might only have ego batteries, but you can get ego type batteries in a 650 and 1000 and 1100 ma and so it's a good idea to have the smaller ones as well as the bigger ones because it's not really how long they last whether it will take you through a whole day if if your situation is that you can recharge them or that you have two that you can work with one and the other one is recharging and like me, it doesn't matter because I'm at home most of the time and I just simply pop them on to charge when they get exhausted. So I have not now gone over the top wanting batteries that will last forever because I've found in this year I've got into a routine and I can easily recharge without much trouble and if I'm going out, I take a spare battery that I know if the one I'm using um, fizzles out, I've got a replacement battery to keep me going. I got the, um, oh dear, what was it called? AIO from Sherwood Vapors. Now that is a really excellent little device. That didn't have tanks and I really favour tanks because the liquid is in unhindered by padding or wadding. I can't taste it. Its flavour has been spoiled by being stored in wadding or, or some other material. But I have to say that the cartomizers for those e-cigs are absolutely fantastic. They last a long time and the reason of course they're good is because they are low resistance and they don't ruin the flavor of the e-liquid that you've put in the cartomizer. Also they seem to last a long time without the flavor degrading as you're getting to the end of the life of the battery that you are using before you recharge it. So generally, I think that is an excellent device and I know some people who've now got one. I'm hoping that's because of me and they are truly pleased. These are vapors that aren't going to go and get fancy mods or get involved in all the vaping world. They are the ones that vape and they simply vape as, as a, a way of not smoking. So they're not interested in all sorts of fancy complicated stuff. They just want to vape a nice satisfying device. As usual my jewellery is by Fulgurine. Thanks for vaping with me. I think I have confused people about the difference between the Margaret Hills diet and the Paleo diet. The Margaret Hills diet is the diet for arthritic pain. I don't know much about it, excepting that it works. 
and it's in the book. The book is called The Margaret Hill's Diet for Arthritic Pain. What I practice is the paleo diet, the paleolithic diet, and that simply is eat what you can hunt, shoot, gather or collect or fish. And so it's eating natural foods. So it's eating foods that our bodies evolved to eat, really, and leaving out modern kinds of food, pre-prepared stuff, convenience foods, breads, and any wheat or grains, or all that which we've added to our diets since our bodies developed to eat paleolithically. So that's simply it. I cheat like hell. As usual, my jewellery is by Fulgurine. Thanks for vaping with me.